Hello, hello. I'm gonna do another one of these uh, today on Record Man. The OCs, one of the most prolific and exciting bands of today and the modern era of rock as I know it. And what makes them so prolific and amazing, in my terms at least, is that like they've been releasing music since I would say forever, non-stop after release after release. Um, since I think 99, 90, 99, I don't even know. But John Dwyer has been around for a while with other projects like Damaged Bug and you know. So um, I'm gonna talk about the records that I have at least and the only CD I have. So let's get into it. Um, they're gonna be also in no particular order. I'm just gonna start where I started. Um, so let's go. First one, we have Panther Rotate, which is a remix of their most recent album, uh, Protein Threat. Um, it's it's really cool to get stoned to and just listen to, like in the morning. I think it's so cool. Um, my favorite songs on here are just the first song on here, If I Had an Experiment, Cold Steel Experiment. Those are my three favorites. Gong Experiment, this one's actually really cool. but. You know, this album's a treat, like, the, if the cover art doesn't already grab you, I don't know what, you know, what will. Um, this album's awesome, I love this album, and I've been playing it a lot, so, um, I recommend picking it up. It will not disappoint, I will tell you that. Next up, we have Metamorphist. This one's based around, like, heavy improvisation and heavy, like, guitar. I think this is their most hardest out like album they released of this year. And I would have to say my favorite songs on here would have to be all the way up until the vi the virologist. I don't like the last song because it's just too long and I get bored. You know, uh, that's my take. But favorite songs on here uh, that stand out: Electric War, The Virologist and Weird and Wasted. Those are my favorites of this album. And just look at the cover art. The thing about the OCs that you have to understand is that their album art is always gonna be on point. He's like, whatever artist is doing the album art, if it's John Dwyer himself, like, this is just fantastic. It's great, I love it. And when you, the sleeve, even the sleeve, look at this, look at this. That's cool. I like this a lot. Like I, I can I take so much inspiration from this kind of stuff. This stuff really motivates me to do more. You know. But yeah, Metamorphosed, a great album. Recommended. Or heavily recommended. And my CD just stopped. Give me a minute. Now that I changed the music, uh, here we are. Uh, Protein Threat. Wonderful album. Uh, this album, I, I love getting stoned to. And the sleeve says it all. It's it's amazing. The track listing is also really amazing. It's very, very dynamic in the way the songs are built and the way they, like, they're structured and all that goodness. Um, favorite songs in here would have to be Scramble Suit. Uh, set the shovel. If I had my way. Toadstool. The Gong of Catastrophe. Campanar 74 is my all-time favorite song on this album. Like it. This album is very, like I said, dynamic in the way they progress and how they're structured. I love the double drumming on how the OCs do it. You know, unlike most double drummers. Most of the time, I, in my eyes at least, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, they're, 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 they're doing two different things. And I find that so amazing because it's just drum gymnastics. It's just, you know, you have to watch what you're doing and see if it fits in the rhythm, etc. Again, protein thread. Get it. Next up, we have Face Stabber. I actually just got this one recently. Uh, I haven't touched this album uh, until recently and my god is it one of the best albums I've heard in the last like 
couple of months. I know it didn't come out this year, I know that, but this album is just beautiful. Like, start to finish, oh my god. The, you know, I, I love the Daily Heavy, the Experimenter, Snickernees, uh, Poison Stones, Psychops Dispatch, Heartworm, Together Tomorrow, Henchlock. Those are the ones that stand out for me. These, this, then, oh my god, when you open it up, you get greeted with this very sci-fi, you know, theme, which is a very recurring theme in the OCs. Um, but yeah, Face Tabber, great double album, fuck yeah. Next, I have Smoke Revolver, um, another album, well, I heard it from a video describing the OCs that this is basically a summary of what they're doing, and that's a, that's true, yes and no, no because like, they're still evolving in their own sound, they're progressing still, yes because I can kind of still hear it since Smoke Revol Revol Smoke Revolver, I don't know, I have a very bad time pronouncing names, uh, but yes because I can still hear that, you know, sound and their newer releases, but this album is just wonderful. I don't think I have the track listing anywhere in here. Oh yeah, here we are. Uh, I think this is one album that's worth like sitting through. I don't think I have a real issue with, but like the ones that do stand out is Santina Ona, I think that's what it's called. And then Enrique El Cabador, C, and beat quest and i think uh, there's a really hard punk song on here or something along the lines of that that goes hard it's just like intense for the ears but yeah smoke was over great album now we're getting back like to their earlier stages of this era uh i have here an odd entrance an ep and this album is great. This, I keep saying this a lot, but great albums get stoned too, and it's just awesome because start to finish, you, you get you get introduced to this flashing like ideal, like beautiful symbol, uh, you know, and and the guitar delay that's coming on just all mashes together and it, it explodes into this big jam that hangs on, you know like a certain chord and it progresses and the more it progresses it's just more beautiful and Bridget's on this album I mean EP so it's worth listening to I think she's almost in everything according to John Dwyer but yeah an odd entrance now this album's awesome all their albums are awesome a weird exit yeah a weird exit Oh my god, this has the classic like Latinus Cube and then it has fucking Dead Man's Gun. Now that song's good. That's a great song that I recommend. Oh my I tried learning it, I'm still learning it. Um Yeah, this album this uh, this album I can sit through start to finish and I will complain about nothing. I think this album needs to be shared and I just love every song on this album. The access, great end track. That's how most ending tracks should probably be. I'm probably being a little more dramatic, but this album deserves so much praise. I, I think they stepped it up when they released this album. And fuck, man, like, you need this in your collection if you're, you know, a modern rock fan, I would say. Um, before I move on to the last record, I'm gonna talk about the CD, Orc. Um, this album is very intense because it uses a lot of like like old 70s like hard uh, rock rhythm I would say and, and it just hits you in the face like it punches you in the gut and it says fuck yeah like oh man and I'm as I'm reading this I just found out that Ty Siegel's on here uh, I'm not a big Ty Siegel fan but I, uh, I, I know of his work and I do respect him as an artist. Um, this album is wonderful. Static God, one of my favorite songs. Night Expo, Animated Violence is one of my favorite songs right now. Um, what else is on here? 
Paranoise, Cooling Tower, Drown Beat, Chessasone, I don't know how they pronounce it, this one right here. After Keys to the Castle, that's a great song. Um, fuck, dude. Album's great. Uh, I love. I, I would. I would wait. I. Would, I'd get stoned and listen to the OCs. That's pretty much what I do. Like, this. This is just a band you have to get stoned to. Now, moving on. To, I. Uh, I love this album. Now, I think I love this album more than any other album from the OCs because when I work. Um, and I'm cleaning the dining or like the restroom. I'll play this album and just get me pumped up and I'll just start moving and I'll, I'll clean, I'll fucking sweep and shit. And oh my god, like this, it's a powerful album. The Dream on here, the version of The Dream, you know, is it's such a fucking, it's just awesome. And like the opening track, I Come From The Mountain, Web on here is fucking amazing, Gladness Cube, the last song on, on like, Oh my god, like the whole thing is just beautiful. It's a masterpiece. And look at this, look at this album cover. You're not gonna tell me this is an iconic rock photo. Like, this is one of a man who's been working for years in, in the music industry, the music underground scene. And everyone who's involved with the OCs have done such a spectacular job to keep the music alive and such energetic and intense and that's what I love about the OCs is that they're intense and it's raw and it, it, it doesn't shy away from just trying something new and that's why I love Panther Rotate and the new releases you know I, I love everything about the OCs and what they're doing especially with the improvisation that's being incorporated heavily you know I, I it's it's just wonderful um, you know look at this the shots from you know San Francisco life so I found this at Amoeba and I was gonna order it online originally but I saw it there and I was like I had to get it so I did and I do not regret a single thing because it's just amazing um, again out of all albums of the OCs start off with this one you will not be disappointed this is somewhere where you should start off live in San Francisco I've never been to San Francisco I would love to go to San Francisco and I think I'm gonna go soon actually next year because I'm going to see King Gizmo hopefully because of the current state of the pandemic um, long story short OCs give them a check out and you will not be disappointed John Dwyer if you see this shout out to you I love your work um, I appreciate everything you guys are doing in the music industry underground scene um you guys inspire me and i'm heavily influenced by your work and i've been listening to your music since i was a fetus in sixth grade look at listening to block of ice on repeat with that album is the album is a whole different story i love that album but um that's the end of the record rant i did another one um, I hope whoever watches this, uh, stay safe, uh, just know that what you're doing is enough, um, stay safe during the current pandemic that we are in and strive for your goals.